Hello everyone. Welcome to another maths mini lesson. Today we'll have multiplying fractions. Okay? Magmo-multiply tayo ng mga fractions in proper in improper forms or mixed forms. This is the first part of our two-part uh, mini video lesson about multiplying fractions. Okay? So itong first part na to magko-concentrate lang tayo dun sa mga proper at saka improper fractions. So, paano nga ba mag-multiply ng fractions? Unang dapat natatandaan, okay? Kailangan alam ninyong i-identify yung numerators at saka denominators. Pangalawa, hindi masyado, hindi natin yung problema kung ang mga denominators ay magkakaiba. Kasi iba yung procedure sa pagmumultiply ng fractions dun sa procedure ng pag-a-add at pagsasubtract ng fractions. Okay? So, paano nga ba minumultiply ang fractions? Whenever we multiply fractions, take note people that you need to multiply numerators all, all together. Ibig sabihin, yung numerator sa kapwa numerator and then denominator sa kapwa denominator. So, hindi tayo nagmumultiply ng numerator times denominator, ha? Tayo ay nagmumultiply ng numerator, yung nasa taas, sa nasa taas, sa baba, sa nasa baba. So, ito ang ating laging tatandaan. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, let's have an example. Suppose, you are asked to multiply two-thirds and one-fifth. Okay? Ano-ano ang mga numerators natin? Ang numerators natin ay yung mga nasa taas, yung two and one. So, as prescribed, numerator times numerator. So, let's do that. Numerator two times numerator one. Okay? Then, denominators. Denominator three times denominator five. Okay? So, ganyan. And then, we carry out the operation. 2 times 1, that's 2. 3 times 5, that's 15. Then, you check whether the final answer is already in its lowest term. So, paano yun? Tignan natin yung mas maliit na numero, which is 2. 2 is already prime. And 15 is not divisible by so, ibig sabihin, yan na yung ating final answer. So, ganyan lang kadali. Okay? Taas sa taas, baba sa baba. Let's have another example. Suppose, uh, we have 9 over 4 times 3 over 5. Okay? 9, time, 9 over 4 times 3 over 5. So, again, Numerator sa numerator, that will be numerator 9 times numerator 3. And then denominator 4 times denominator 5. We carry out the operation, 9 times 3, that's 27. And 4 times 5, that's 20. Okay? So, Again, we test whether our answer is already in its lowest term. Start tayo doon sa mas maliit, yung 20. Ang, mul ang factors lang ni 20, aside from 1, o sama na natin yung 1. It's 1, 4, 5, and 20. O, kulang pa yan. We have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Okay? Yan yung mga factors ng 20. Sa so, ang 27, ang factors niya ay 1, 3, 9, and 27. So, titignan ninyo, wala silang common factor maliban sa 1. Ibig sabihin, naka-lowest term na yung ating sagot. Okay? So, that will be 27 over 20. And it's an improper fraction. So, pwede rin nating i-rename yan as a mixed number. How? 
we divide 27 divided by 20, that's 1, remainder 7 over 20. So, alinman sa dalawang yan, tama. Kasi sila ay magkapareho ng value. Magkaiba lang sila ng paraan ng pagkakasulat. Ang isa ay improper at ang isa naman ay naka-mix form. So, that's how you multiply fraction. So, numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Let's have a third example. Okay. Suppose we have, uh, suppose you were asked to multiply three fractions. So, three fractions tayo. Let's have three-fourths times one-half times two-fifths. Okay? Three-fourths times one-half times two-fifths. Again, we follow the rule. That will be numerator times numerator. So, ilan ang numerators natin? Tatlo. So, lahat yan kukunin natin. Numerator three times numerator one times numerator two. And then, the denominators. Four, two, and five. Okay? Then, we can multiply that. We have three times 1 is times 2 that will be 6 and 4 times 2 times 5 is 40 so check natin kung malolowest term pa natin yan 6 and 40 both are divisible by 2 so divide natin sila by 2 temblang natin to oh dito natin isulat natin medyo sa baba baba natin yan 6 over 40, since wala na tayong space doon. And then, tutungan lang natin yung bar line, extend natin ng bahagya, then we divide both 6 and 40 by the same number, which is 2. O wala nang tinta yung aking ano, marker. Sensya naman, 2. Okay? So, what is now 6 divided by 2? That is 3. And 40 divided by 2 is 20. So, test natin kung kaya, pwede pa natin i-lowest term yan. 3 is already prime. And 20 is not divisible by 3. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung ating lowest term. So, what is now 3 fourths times 1 half times 2 fifths, that is 3, 20, uh, 3 over 20. Yun na yung ating sagot. Okay? Now, uh, hindi tayo nag-cancel out ng common factor sa numerator and denominator kasi limited lang muna ito dahil ito ay introductory. Kailangan lang, we have to go through the process. Wala muna tayong gagamitin mga techniques para mas mapabilis yan. Okay? So, that's all for now for the first part of multiplying fractions. Uh, pakiabangan, abangan na lang ninyo yung second part ng video na ito. We will be multiplying fractions uh, in mixed forms at saka sasama na rin natin si whole number. Goodbye for, uh, goodbye for now. God bless. See you next time. Thank you.